how the uh, how the first few days gone for you? That was good. It's uh, exciting to kind of be back, and you know, obviously there's a kind of a lot of guys, kind of new faces, and uh, I kind of missed training camp uh, a little bit last year, so it's good just to kind of you know be with the guys and just get into the flow of it. How much how much better do you feel you know one year to the next, knowing that you had to join late last year and this yeah. year you're kind of 100 percent and and ready to go right from the start? Yeah, I'm feeling good. Um, obviously, I had the shoulder surgery, right? So it's uh, been a lot of rehab this summer and just kind of getting it going. But uh, yeah, I feel good just to kind of be back. And like I said, just be with all the guys and the reps are getting good and just sharpen up the little little bit, get the rust off. So it's been good to kind of get out and just, you know, like I said, just get the practice reps in and excited to get some game reps into. Did you find you had to sacrifice some summer activities like golf or whatever during your rehab? Or how that yeah, worked? yeah, no, no golf. Uh, and the game showed it kind of in that uh, the golf tournament we had there. So uh, I'll keep that under wraps. But yeah, yeah, no golf, uh, nothing like that. But it was okay. I went back home to Toronto and saw some friends, family and all that. So it wasn't that much of a change. And how much of an adjustment is it when you're working on your shoulder? Like, are, are you shooting normally like you, you were before? Yeah. Is that, what's the process like in that stuff back to where it was? Yeah, it's a little different. Uh, obviously, I had, whatever, somewhat three months off to not shoot and do all that. But um, yeah, usually in the summer, I uh, take a month off or maybe two or something like that. And but yeah, I like to be on the ice kind of right away and not get too rusty and all that. So it's a little different. Uh, but yeah, the last last month, last two months here, I've been uh, training hard and just kind of getting as many reps as I can, shooting pucks as many times as I can, and uh, just really trying to build my strength up in the in the shoulder and the, and all that area. Right. You're playing both sides of special teams. You got a new power play coach, got a new PK coach. What kind of adjustments are you expecting to how you guys play on both sides compared to last year? Yeah, I'm sure there will be some. Um, obviously, I think uh, both sides can can get better to that. Um, I think um, you know we gotta you know talk about it and, and figure all that stuff out. But um, yeah, obviously there's going to be some changes and uh, maybe new systems here coming up. But um, yeah, we just gotta. That's what kind of I guess training camps for just kind of learning and and uh, getting the reps in and, and and practicing and coming together as one. I guess for the between you know, two years ago and last year, you, know, you guys didn't really have a lot of turnover in terms of the power play people. Mm -hmm. What was different that didn't work last year in terms of how the power play operated? Yeah, uh, not too sure, right? Uh, sometimes it clicks, sometimes it doesn't, right? So I think there were some games, uh, some period stretches where you know our power play uh, was looking good and we were creating uh, chances, and then there was other games where you just kind of went kind of ice cold, right? So I think it's just got to be more consistent with it and. Uh, you know, there was a lot of new guys kind of coming in and out of power play and things like that last year. So now that the um, majority of us are kind of still all together, um, you know, we just got to keep building off what we did last year. And um, obviously, maybe new systems and things like that will help us uh, get going more. Are you excited maybe to be in a new <coughs> offensive system where it does seem like puck possession and creativity are going to be a little more valued than before? Yeah. Um, obviously, I think that's huge when uh, you have the puck and the uh, I guess the other team doesn't have the puck, right? So you want to be playing in the offensive zone as, as much as you can and uh, hold on to it, make plays, and, you know, do all those little things, right? So, um, and, you know, I'm just kind of excited, like I said, right, just to kind of get back and, you know, just get back into the rhythm of things, right, and uh, build chemistry with all the guys on the ice again and uh, get back to playing hockey again. I guess how the, how the conversation has been so far with Mark Savard, because I know like he's a guy that had you know, such a good, you know, very good playing career, good yeah. power yeah. play, play good defensive player. But, you know, yeah. Have you been able to pick his brain a bit about things you want to add to your game? Yeah, um, a little bit. Uh, not, not a lot yet. I think uh, more just kind of getting the reps in here, and I think uh, maybe kind of later on we'll, we'll get, uh, get down to more of that and kind of pick his brain and everything like that. But yeah, he's obviously a you know, good, good or was a good kind of player and a smart player and all that. So I'm um, happy that you know, he's a part of our team now and uh, he could uh, you know, share his insight and skill uh, with us a lot.